Hello, everybody. Um, this is Michael. In this video, um, we will talking about the FTP, FTDI chip. Uh, this chip. This chip is um, USB to UART chip. Okay, so it's a very it's a very simple chip. We plan to do the very low call for uh, UR. And as you know, um, for the current uh, computer, there's a lot of USB interface. So we want to communicate with the computer. And one way is to use the uh, USB to UR. Then the FP FPGA can communicate with the uh, computer by the USB bridge uh, chip. This is a USB bridge chip. The UR is a very simple, it's a very simple uh, communication protocol and it's very easy to implement by the uh, Verilog. And so uh, in this video, we um, take a look at this chip first. Okay. Um, first, we open the data sheet. So here is the uh, data sheet. We take a look what we needed to know about this chip. Okay. So um, first, it is uh, what we need to know is uh, it is a USB to basic URIC. Okay. This is a basic URIC from USB to UR. Okay. And probably for the hardware engineer, it will be very interesting to know the size. Three millimeter by three millimeter. It's a very, very small uh, package for the PCB designer. So uh, this is very friendly for the uh, PCB board. Okay. So um, this is the second, uh, this is the first thing we need to know USB to share your other size. The second thing is the uh, date transfer rate. Okay, it's here. So the, um, we needed to know, we, it's here, the date transfer rate from 300 uh, baud rate to 3 meg battery. So this battery is very is very um is very high. Okay. What is the battery? The battery is bits per second, it's BPS. Okay, for the normal for the normal IUR the standard battery will be uh something like uh nine six zero zero or uh I one one five two zero zero. So compare this. This is a uh, three meg. So this is three meg. So the USB port um, to the UR, it can uh, get a, a little bit higher than the than the normal. Okay. The third things. So we need to know the UR interface. For the for the um, the date B, okay, it's here. So this is the UR interface support to seven or eight date Bs, uh, one or two stop stop Bs, and this this Bs. So we will uh, more and uh, we will describe the UR protocol in the next video, in the later video more clearly and uh, at, because uh, if we want to use the Verilog call uh, to communicate with, the, with this chip, with the UR chip, we have to know the UR protocol very clearly. So we will we'll des describe it a little bit later. Okay. 
but the, for, for this video we take a look at the chip first okay this is a chip okay then this is a USB full speed compatible okay this is this chip and okay let's take a look uh, the this it also uh, FTDI company it also provides a free virtual pool drivers okay it also provides the um, the drivers means you can implement uh, uh, the you can program the Windows software using the Visual Studio and communicate with the driver then you will be communicate with the FPGA to can to get to get the data or send the data to uh, FPGA through this USB to your R uh, chip. Okay. So the last thing. Okay. So this is a, a free virtual COM port driver for this when this operation system. Okay. So it uh, you you will know this is even including in Linux and also uh, Mac, Mac, Linux, uh, embedded system, XP, WinCE, oh, it's the, even the very old Windows version, very old Windows version. So this driver is, uh, can use, can use uh, in many uh, operation system. So this chip is very popular in all kinds of USB convert to your R communication system. Okay, the last thing, the last thing we will take a look at the pin description is page seven. Okay, page seven. So this is a, this is a cheap pin, and uh, um, for our. Uh, Actually, for our Verilog code, we only know these two pins will be good enough, the T, TXD and RXD. But anyway, let's take a look at other pins. So, okay, okay. So, uh, here is a um, pin description. So, this is pin 4. So, this is a uh, uh, power supply, power in, and this is um, VCC IO IO means pin power supply okay the power supply this power supply for the chip and this power supply for the uh, pin um, this pin config okay and this is power supply as 3.3 power supply out and this is ground so this is ground okay and this is USB for for USB USB minus USB plus, and this is reset. Okay, so USB minus USB plus and the reset. And so the most important thing is that these two pin, this pin means uh, transmit the data out. This pin means receive the data, okay? And this two pin um, is for sh uh, handshake signal. Uh, you can use it or you, 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 you don't need it anymore. You, you don't need it for most of the communications. And because we can, de we can define our communication protocol uh, in the communication, it's state out, that in, something like this, okay? Basically, for this chip, we know that we know uh, these five things will be good enough. So it's very simple, right? And for the especially for the um, um, for the very long call program, so we know these five things is is uh, is good enough, and also. Pro uh, of course, there is uh, more uh, information in this uh, data sheet, and the basic mostly for the for the hardware for the hardware um, uh, 
engineer so you can see here and here this is the sigmatic uh, things okay so uh, for this chip very simple uh, USB to UR and we know the five things good enough okay uh, so that's it for this video next video we will introduce more uh, things about it thank you uh, this is my hope you will like it and so support us sub subscribe us thank you